this is Jeff and we are here with USP Pro. In this video we will look at how to create a post submission form to enable users to submit content from the front end. Now here we have USP Pro installed and activated so we are ready to go. That means we can now click to USP Forms and this is where all of our USP Forms are listed and available. So all of the demo forms that are included with USP Pro are provided here and any new forms that we create also will be listed here on the USP form screen. So to create a post submission form, we can either use the demo or we can create a new form. Let's look at how to do uh, both of those things. First we click into the USP form demo and here we see the demo includes a description and the fields that are included with the free version of USP. So if you want to get started quickly, if you're coming over from the free version of USP, um, the easiest way to do that is to go into the USP form demo, publish, and then copy the short code, head over to any post or page, and paste the short code into place, click update, and then we can view the form on the front end. And here we have a replica of the form that's included with the free version of USP Pro. Only this is much more flexible and powerful because we have full control over the form and can customize it just about any way we need. So let's go back here. Here is our uh, form that we are displaying. Let's say that we want to customize this form. We can either customize it directly by making changes here or we can copy the contents and add them to a new form, like so. Now, I want to mention again that this, uh, I, I mentioned this in previous videos, I also want to mention it here. The title of the form here uh, is never seen by anyone on the front end, so it's entirely for your use, so uh, I encourage you to use descriptive, uh, descriptive titles that will help you identify forms quickly when uh, you are building multiple forms that can really help. So now let's customize our new post submit form. The first thing we'll do is remove this verbose description and let's leave these fields in place. Maybe let's say that the URL field is not required so we can change that to false and let's say that we want to customize the label of the title field. We can add an attribute like so. Label, let's say we want to call this enter a title. And let's also add a placeholder. And all each of these fields here can be customized with attributes and so forth as we'll see here in a moment. But for now, let's say we've customized this form just how we like it. We go ahead and publish. Go back to the USP form screen. Here is our new short code for our new form. And we can copy it, return to our page, and paste it into place. Click update and refresh the page. And now we have a post submission form here that is customized according to the changes that we just made to the form. So at this point, uh, users can visit your page, they can fill out their information, and submit the form. They can add files and select a category and enter their information, and it will be displayed on the front end. So one more thing. Let's say we want to create a new post submission form from scratch. Uh, to do so, we could follow the tutorial at Plugin Planet. We go to the sidebar here and type in post submit form, click search, and here it is, make a post submit form. And from here we can go through the tutorial step by step to create a brand new post submit form from scratch. Step one, um, set up your form with any desired fields. To make it a post, it must include at least these fields here. So we go back over to our new USP form and call it new custom post submit form or whatever we want to call it. And then we click publish, 
paste our new fields into place, and go to step two. Step two, now that we have these required fields, we're pretty much done. That's all that's really required for a post-submission form. So we're done with the tutorial. Now we can click Update just to make sure. We can come back out here, copy our new short code, paste it into place like so. Click Update. So now we can view the page on the front end and see that uh, the form is displayed as expected. We can now submit a test post to see how it works. Click Submit Post. And success, we have successfully submitted a post. We can head over to posts. Here's our new post that we just submitted. So everything is working great. So now we have uh, seen how to use the demo form, uh, duplicate a form, and create a new post submission form from scratch. Uh, and we did that following the tutorial here. And I encourage you to read through the tutorial because it does provide some additional information that may be useful as you're getting started uh, setting things up. So that's pretty much it for this video. We'll get more into some of the other things that can be done with uh, the, short, the field short codes and custom fields in future videos. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.